Emmanuel Martinez is a renowned Denver artist whose murals, paintings, and sculptures can be seen around the city and at the Smithsonian Collection of American Art. For decades, Martinez has created art that relates to real life, art that uplifts the spirits and brings people together. With no formal training, this, uh, he does what feels natural. The, 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 this painting is a, a, a warrior, a woman warrior. Uh, His artwork seeks painting. to give people a positive identity, and it is inspired by many of his role models, including Mexican artists Diego Rivera and David Alfaro Siqueiros. And they, they inspired me because they were doing artwork for the people and giving them an identity, making them feel proud of who they are. And I felt that we really needed that here in the Southwest because a lot of our people didn't even really know what they even call themselves, you know, at the time. As a young artist during the Civil Rights Movement, Martinez decided to lend his emerging talent to the Chicano movement, becoming one of the incorporators of the Crusade for Justice in Denver, headed by Rodolfo Corky Gonzalez. During that time, he developed some of the most iconic imagery of the movement, including the mestizo head, and the Tierra o Muerte poster created for activist Reyes Lopez Tijerina. In 1966, Cesar Chavez invited Martinez to work with the United Farm Workers Union in California, where the following year, the Bishop of Los Angeles commissioned him to create a farm workers altar, commemorating the end of Chavez's 25-day fast. <laughs> this altar, uh, along with a drawing of Chavez in the Tierra o Muerte poster, are now part of the Smithsonian American Art Museum's permanent collection. This is one of Martinez's proudest accomplishments. They, they chose my piece, or pieces, three of them, uh, that because they were probably the earliest and most significant for the movement, that represented the movement. A lot, a lot of artists came later in the mid-70s, and uh, but you know, I was doing this in 66, 68, yeah. So I was like a pioneer. Martinez also pioneered the Chicano mural movement in Denver. He took a job with Denver Parks and Recreation as a lifeguard so that he had the official sanction to paint his larger-than-life murals in locations around the city. Once he painted the famous mural at La Alma Recreation Center, other communities sought to have colorful and meaningful murals in their neighborhoods. He worked with hundreds of volunteers and other artists to bring the pieces to life. Nearly 50 students from schools around Denver were involved in creating the iconic Confluent People mural. I'm often in awe standing in front of a great painting or a great sculpture. And when it's an Emmanuel Martinez, it's a different level of awe because it's work that speaks directly to my heart and to my roots and to where I come from. Dedication and a vision for a more just society are at the heart of Martinez's work. But his talent was almost lost before it had a chance to flourish. The ninth of 12 children, Martinez lacked direction as a teenager and found himself in trouble with the law. His transformation took place in a juvenile facility. I would pick up the matchsticks and I took them back to my room and I would draw on brown paper towels and that's really how I started drawing and then and I, I kind of discovered uh, my talent and I pretty much uh, decided that that's what I want to do. With the help of mentors, in particular artist Bill Longley, he kept himself out of trouble, went back to school and dedicated his life to art. His experiences as a teenager were the inspiration behind the Emanuel Project, an organization that helps bring art into the lives of high-risk youth. Having grown up a high-risk youth himself, he understands the importance art can play in a child's life to give him or her a positive outlet. And today, Martinez often spends time with youth around the country painting murals of hope. I even show that in the process of mural painting, that, you know, I still make mistakes at my age, uh, but I, you know, the whole, the whole idea is to correct the mistakes, you know, is fix them up and keep going and, you know, let that reflect in your whole life, you know. You've made a mistake by landing up in here and, 
And, and you, could, you could change that. You know, you have the power to change that. Since his career began at the age of 13, Martinez has received numerous awards for his art and contributions Hilarious to the community. Like his induction ago, into the Colorado <laughs> Latino Hall of Fame now represents a new milestone in his career. So, you know, to be remembered in a, in a Hall of Fame is, is uh, really important. And I think it might inspire other artists maybe in the future other Latino artists to pursue their artwork and, and, and maybe become part of the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Martinez was part of some of the most crucial moments of 20th and 21st century American history and has diligently documented them with priceless drawings, paintings, murals, and sculptures. His eight-foot statue of Private Joe P. Martinez, the first Hispanic and Coloradan to receive the Medal of Honor in World War II, stands outside the Colorado State Capitol, a proud symbol of the contributions of Hispanics to this nation. If we had more Emanuels in the world, we would have a more enlightened society.